Now we have to see megasporogenesis. What is megasporogenesis? It is a process of development of megaspore from a megaspore mother cell. It is called megasporogenesis. When the megaspore mother cell gives rise to megaspore by meiosis, that process is called megasporogenesis. First step, the um, hypodermal cell of the new cells, in the new cells, the hypodermal cells will differentiate into archosporium cell. The archosporium in some of the plant gives rise to megaspore mother cell directly. But in some other plants, the um, archosporium gives rise to divide and gives rise to primary parietal cells and primary sporogenous cells. The primary parietal cells will not undergo division in some of the plant, but in some of the plants, the primary parietal cells undergo periclinal and anticlinal division and uh, surrounds the primary sporogenous tissue. This will embed the primary sporogenous tissue. That is the function of the primary parietal cells. The primary sporogenous tissue undergo division and differentiate into megaspore mother cell. The megaspore mother cell by meiosis, it produces four haploid megaspore. Four haploid megaspores are arranged in a linear manner. Out of four haploid megaspore, three will be degenerated one, the fourth one, which is situated in the chalosal end, that is considered as the chalosal megaspore, that is the functional one, that develops into embryo sac. So, that is the process of megasporogenesis. Based on the types of functional megaspore, the embryo sac will be divided into three types monosporic, bisporic and tetrasporic. What is monosporic? When the chalosal megaspore develops into embryo sac, it is called monosporic. Out of four megaspores produced, three will be degenerated. The chalosal megaspore functional and that gives rise to embryo sac, that is called the monosporic embryo sac. It is seen in the polygonum type. So it is considered as the polygonum type of embryo sac. The second one is bisporic embryo sac. Out of the four megaspore formed, when two megaspores are involved in the embryo sac formation, it is the bisporic embryo sac. It can be seen in allium plant. So it is always called allium type of embryo sac. The third one is tetrasporic. When all the megaspores, there are four megaspores are produced, when all the mega, four megaspores are involved in the formation of embryo sac, it is called tetrasporic embryo sac. The tetrasporic embryo sac can be seen in the plant peperomia. So, it is otherwise called tetrasporic embryo sac, it is otherwise called peperomia type of embryo sac. So, these are all the three main types of embryo sac formed in plants.